This week, we're going to be working towards our future self. Are you ready to meet them? I hope you are. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Fasting Focus Lifestyle Podcast, where each week I will be discussing all things fasting and how it can become the most valuable tool in your personal toolkit so that you can live a long, healthy, and meaningful life. I'm your host, Vicki Sharon, and thank you for joining me. I want you to think about in this moment, are you thinking about what your future self looks like? I'm going to challenge you if you are able to, in this moment, close your eyes, and I want you to really imagine, not previous photos from the past, Think about how you want to see yourself living how you want, doing what you want in a lifestyle that you want, feeling the way that you want. And I want you to close your eyes if you can and really make it real. Imagine looking down at your body, being so content, so happy, so proud of what you have been able to accomplish. Doesn't matter if you're just starting, if you're midway or almost to goal, doesn't matter where you are on your journey. I want you to imagine that you are your future self, that you have met and achieved every single health weight loss goal that you have set out for yourself. I want you to think and really feel what it feels like, feel like Think about the way that your clothes feel on you. Think about how you are able to move effortlessly throughout your day. Imagine the way that things are for you each day. Are things hopefully easier for you? Maybe you have more physical stamina. Maybe you have more energy to keep up with family, with your kids, doing what you do on a day-to-day basis. Most of all, I want you to think about what this feels like, and what it means to you to be there in that headspace. And I want you to really remember that as best as you can. And also, side note, if you have the handbook, that would be something that I would highly encourage you to write down on any of those note pages that you've got. I'm also going to encourage you to take a moment, if you haven't already, to go into the bathroom or a mirror, wherever you've got a mirror, And I want you to really take a moment. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror. Make eye contact with yourself. If it feels weird, let it be weird. That's okay. Let it be weird. Look at yourself in the eye, in the mirror. And I want you to stop for a moment and think, feel, and have the utmost gratitude for what you're doing right now, for your day, for your week, month, this past year, few years, have incredible amount of gratitude for what you've done up until this point, regardless if it is full of stressors, negativity, or whatever. Have gratitude for the body that you are in at this moment. And even if you can't muster to say thank you to yourself while you're looking at yourself in the eye, think it. Think it. I am so grateful to have this body. I'm so grateful to be here, to be able to think this thought, to be able to feel this feeling for myself. I want you to think about how you can give yourself some compassion, empathy, and absolutely some patience to who you are so that you can continue to become who you are meant to be. I wholeheartedly believe in the practice, the regular consistent practice of getting familiar and thinking about, not in a daydream hypothetical kind of sense, but I, I, I love the practice of getting comfortable to where you are really owning that you are becoming your future self, that it's not some hypothetical possibility, oh, maybe if I meet those goals. No, you are in these actions and steps whether if you're spinning your wheels and maybe plateauing for the past weeks, month, whatever, you are on your way 
to becoming your future self. One of the things that I've talked about in previous podcast episode where I've taken a picture of myself. And at the time, I was really proud of the way that I looked. Not saying I'm not proud, but I'm going to challenge you maybe to do the same and think about how you can make this something that you can do for yourself as well. So find a picture where at a point you had made an achievement, probably in your weight loss because it's what we're about, where you had made an achievement so far in your fasting journey, where you were proud of what you had accomplished so far, but maybe you were starting to feel like, oh, starting to have the doubt roll in. You're starting to, maybe the losses are starting to slow and you're starting to let that negativity verbiage spin in your head. This would, this would be a good opportunity to pump the brakes and really look at this picture. And I'm not proficient in Photoshop. I've been accused of using Photoshop. I am not familiar with, with Photoshop at all. But I would encourage, if you are able to, is to think about how you can see in that photo where you initially had pride and a sense of accomplishment for what you've achieved so far, I want you to think about how you can see through what your initial view and judgment is and really look deeply through this picture and see the future you that you are becoming while thinking of previous behaviors, previous actions, previous victories, struggles, the whole bit. Really taking ownership, accountability, responsibility for everything that has led up to that point and know that you are still on your way to meeting future you. Doing this is going to help you in those day-to-day moments where you could potentially start to feel down on yourself or have that ridicule kind of sense of poor judgment in ourselves where we think, oh no, I I should be eating this or that punishment kind of restrictive mentality with, you know, diet culture food lists and parameters and measurements and stressors where in these moments where you're deciding when to break your fast, you're deciding what foods to have during your eating window, you're deciding, you know, what the next day looks like or so on and so forth. In those moments where you have the options to choose, remembering that you are taking those active steps, walking, working towards meeting you 2.0 will help you in those choices to take that correct path towards you 2.0, towards your future self in each of those moments where you feel like you could give in, like you could throw in the towel, give up. You have the opportunity to think about, is this decision, is this choice something my future self is going to be proud of? Is future me going to be proud of this choice, of this action, of this thought, of this feeling? It's going to allow you to make that decision of, is this aligning with future self or not? And my hope for you in every one of those decisions and choices It becomes easier and so much more instinctive the further along that you go. And by doing that, you are getting into meeting you 2.0. Every time you have a victory, every time you have an accomplishment, no matter how insignificant to other people, other people don't matter. Matters is how you think and feel about your journey. And if you have these little moments where you're feeling victorious and you want to take a moment to celebrate, please celebrate them because those little steps, those little behaviors, actions, choices, decisions, mannerisms, whatever, if they are dis- if they are showing you that those choices are taking you towards you 2.0, your future self, you should be proud. You should absolutely be so proud and take ownership of all of that. Really let it fill you up that can build and fuel you the further along that you go in this journey. That will make you unstoppable. Unstoppable to stressors, unstoppable to self-doubt, to self-judgment, stressors from others, stresses from work and just life in general. 
It will get easier the further along that you go in this. Thinking about you, 2.0, your future self, might not be easy at first, but please know that it can be done. And I encourage you to take as many opportunities, not in a daydream sort of sense, but in a proactive, I'm doing this because this is going to help me not just meet my future self, not just wear the clothes I want to wear or feel the way that I want to feel. This is going to allow you to achieve health, wellness, and improve your longevity, improve your quality of life so that you can live as long as possible, taking care of your body. That's what imagining and getting to know, meeting your future self Because I know that you can do it, no matter how challenging or difficult it may seem at times. Take those moments. These are the moments for the inner reflection. Thinking about your future self. Because I know you can do it. I believe in you. Even if you don't. If you are in need of supportive coaching on your fasting journey, I'm here. I care. And I know you can do it. TheFastingFocusLifestyle.com has my calendar and all the resources that you need to get support with me. If you have ideas or topics you'd like to see me cover on future podcast episodes, I'd love to hear about it. Please send me a message, Vicki, V-I-C-K-I, at thefastingfocusedlifestyle.com. And again, I'm going to give you all a big hug. Again, I truly believe in you, even if you don't. You can get your after. Your future self is waiting. The Fasting Focus Lifestyle Podcast. Copyright 2024. The information given within this podcast is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please consult your doctor before starting any weight loss method. Thank you.